Otherwise known as Lock. We are so excited to do our 73 questions. Let's just get started. Okay, right okay. here. Our first question is How are you doing? Awesome. So good. What has been the highlight of your day so far? The highlight of my day so far has been making music with my students. What's the first thing on your mind every morning? The first thing on my mind every morning when I wake up is. Go, go, go. Get out the door. Gotta get to work on time. Do you want to show us your undoing while we keep asking questions? Here's my really lovely office. Wow. Oh, messy. This is the hallway outside. And I'll take you over this direction. And I'll introduce you to my favorite coral colleague. Give a wave. Say hello. Hi. This is Mrs. Lossie. Hi, everybody. She's my better half. And then this way. Oh, I didn't take you to the choir room. We'll do that later. We have our instrumental side of, of things. This is their office. Fair enough there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Band room. There, if you see through the window, they're doing the hard at work. This is our choir room. We'll walk right through. I'll keep asking questions while we're Keep going. asking, go ahead. What makes every new day exciting? There's never a dull moment down here. There's always some action going on and something intense and big to prepare for. So we're always working hard. Here's our choir room. Uh, and then we'll continue out here. Goodbye. How many hours of sleep do you get each night? Not enough because I have a baby. <laughs> oh my um, gosh. I know, she's awesome, but she does not let us sleep. So I'd say probably six hours. What is your morning routine like? <clears throat> get up, five o'clock in the morning, shower, get ready for work, get the kids ready, get them out the door where they need to be, get to school and do all this. How would you describe doing? <sighs> doing is a special and unique place filled with very interesting people with lots of different interests, um, but mostly music. And I would just say it's like a close-knit family, I feel. Um, uh, it's a cool place because this is an area where people come for all four years of their high school. And I don't know, it's just exciting. Lots of magic happens down here. What do you listen for when you listen to music? Ooh, what kind of music? See, I'm asking you questions now. Mm. What about when your students are singing? Okay, well, I listen to balance, blend, healthy singing, um, and tuning, tuning, yeah, those main things. Do you listen to music while you work? Never. Really, why? Ever. Uh, I, because there's so much music and so much talking throughout the day, I find that whenever I'm not working, I like silence. How would you define art? How would I define art? I don't think art can be defined as any one thing. I think it's art is fluid. Art takes on many different forms, and I don't think that the forms that exist now are the forms that will exist in 10 years from now. So that's how I'll define it. Do you want to keep showing us around? Sure. So here we have a nice mural that the art students did for us. Wow. And up this ramp is where I spend a lot of my time because in this room here, I know 21, this is where Stay Tuned does most of their practicing. So I'm in here a lot. Yes. After school, Mondays, Tuesdays. Do you think you can define teaching for us? Define teaching? Teaching is so much more than uh, just educating on the material in which we teach. It's, it's um, helping students learn to carry themselves with confidence, to problem solve in life, to follow your passions and the things that bring you joy, and also keeping um, a, a balance in life. That is what I try to, to instill in my students, is confidence, balance, keeping the things that you love, and that's the big picture of teaching, not just the material of music. 
So, as you introduce yourself, a lot of people call you Locke. Where did the nickname come from? Well, my last name's Lockhart, and you know, two syllables, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Don't want to meet people to sweat, so they just shorten it to Locke. I think it's, I think it's a little term of endearment. Who inspires you? My students. 100% my students, always. They're so amazing, they've seen the world, they have experiences that, that help when they come back and share, they help me grow. Um, and I just love everyone's individual unique stories and it, and it's, that's so inspires me. Do you know your zodiac sign? Gemini. <laughs> What's your personality type? <laughs> Um, my personality type is, I'm a little quirky. I have a big personality. It can be a little much for some at first until you get to know me. I think it can be intimidating, but just larger than life, not afraid to take risks and put myself out there. What's the best lesson you've learned? Everybody has their own story and you might not know it, or you might know it, but everyone has their own story and their own journey and it is our responsibility to meet each person with where they are at and show grace and empathy and love no matter what. What's the most important lesson you've taught? Probably that. Exactly what I exactly what I just said. Do you want to keep showing us? Yeah. You want to see the auditorium? Let's go, let's go through a secret passage. Okay. Go this way. Past the room. In the random Tupperware, What's this? we go through this little deep, dark, and you know what else I could do? Let's go over here. Cool. I didn't know this we'll show everyone the balcony, because when else do you guys get to see the balcony? This is where all the magic happens for the lights for our shows, and all the costumes are made for the musicals and the fall shows and whatnot up here. Yeah, so here's an aerial view. Yeah. What's your main motto in life and the backstory behind it? My main? Oh boy. My main motto in life is probably <clears throat> take each day one moment at a time. Don't worry about the things that you can't control. And the backstory is life experience and learning that that is truly the only way to get through every, every hurdle in life. You just have to take one piece at a time. When you were younger, did you envision yourself being where you are today? Yes. Did you know that you wanted to be? I always knew I wanted to be a music teacher since I was a little girl. My parents were both music teachers, but I got to see them touch so many lives, and I wanted to do the same. Can you talk about your journey coming to East and what your role is now? Well, I was always a Jersey girl. I started in more northern Jersey, central North Jersey in the Clinton area, and I ventured down south for just relocating to a different part of the state. And so I've been here for 15 years, I believe. Um, I just, I think it's a fantastic school, an amazing program, and I wanted to be a part of it. Describe how you feel about your job in one word. <laughs> During concert season, overwhelmed. Every other time, blessed. What is your favorite song? song Kaleidoscope Part by Sarah Bareilles. Who's your favorite band or singer of all time? Sarah Bareilles. <laughs> She's my girl. What song is constantly playing in your head? <clears throat> constantly playing in my head? Well right now unfortunately anything that Miss Rachel sings on YouTube because that's what my baby watches when she needs TV time. <laughs> What memory do you look back on most often? Oh, um, probably memories with my dad, who's no longer here. Yeah. Describe yourself in three words or less. Three words or less. Um, enthusiastic, energetic, and goofy. What's down there? Oh, let's go find out. Oh, I think I do know what's down here. Okay, you ready? <laughs> so, here we have the prop room. Well, you can see these doors lead you to the 
back of the auditorium. Wow. Uh huh, uh huh. And in here we have, oh, a fairly cleaned out prop room with not very many props. Anyhow, that's the box office where they sell tickets back in there. And here's where we usually store stuff. Yeah. And then out here, you can see, we're in the lobby of the auditorium. Wow. How do you think your students would describe you in three words or less? Let's walk this way. Um, how my students would describe me in three words or less? Can I ask my student? Yeah. How would you describe me in three words or less? During concert season? <laughs> Overwhelming. Um, during like regular throughout the year? She's a joy. A joy! I'll take it. Yeah. What are your three most important values? Three most important values, honesty, um, compassion, and hard work. What makes hours feel like minutes and minutes feel like hours? The people you are with. What is your biggest regret? My biggest regret. Wow, guys. <laughs> my biggest regret was the way I treated my friend my senior year in high school. Do you want to expand on that? Mm -hmm. I was not my best self and did not treat her with the kindness she deserved. Do you have any hidden talents? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, yes, I do. I can soothe any crying baby wow. within seconds. What makes you cringe the most? Ugly behavior. Do you have any current obsessions? Yeah. All things Netflix. I mean, um, oh, it's loud. Do you want to walk this way? Uh, any current obsessions? Well, all right. So I'm obsessed to find out if um, this, well, no, I shouldn't even say that. Yeah, probably TikTok. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Consumes me. It's a weakness. Okay, we're going to do some rapid fire questions. Okay, go. Favorite dessert? <sighs> Tiramisu. Favorite snack? Favorite snack, favorite snack. Uh, Tostitos and avocado. Uh, and guacamole. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Dogs or cats? Definitely cats, even though I have a dog. But okay. he's the reason I chose cats. Describe what made you choose this outfit today. Uh, um, still in the process of losing the baby weight and wanted to wear clothes that fit. What's a historical time period you find so interesting that you'd like to live in it? Only, even if only for a day. Every period of history. I wish I could have a day in every single period in history, but probably I, I'm not, I want to be in the Mayan ruins or go to the Mayan ruins and pretend like I'm one of them. What's your favorite place in East besides Dewey? Miss Barr's office. <laughs> Do you have any recommendations for someone coming to Cherry Hill or Philadelphia for the first time? There's so much culture and so many amazing opportunities that if you come to this area, it's your responsibility to seek those opportunities out. What stereotype do you completely live up to? <laughs> Crazy choir director. <laughs> <laughs> Name a topic you could give a two hour lecture on. Um, how to treat others. What's your biggest weakness? I'm too empathetic. What's your biggest strength? I'm very empathetic. <laughs> if you could be any superhero, who would you want to be? Oh my gosh. Any superhero? Like yeah. any? And <clears throat> well. I mean, you know what, I'd be Robin. I'd be Batman's Robin because he gets a bad rap. That's why. Tell us something you wish you knew as a high schooler. Um, something I wish I knew as a high schooler. Take your time. Don't rush life. You have your whole, you have your whole life to, well, you have your whole life to achieve things, you have your whole life to work, you have your whole life, so live in each moment and stop trying to rush through your childhood. What are your favorite hobbies? My favorite hobbies are running and um, uh, just uh, art, painting. 
What's something you've always wanted to try but have been too scared to do? So many things. Um, mm, learn a new, a new uh, you know what, go back to school. Do you want to tell us about some of these trophies and pictures on the wall? Yeah, none of them are mine. <laughs> um, these are all, <laughs> these are all marching band, woo, woo, all marching band. This is, uh, oh no, look, there's some vocal trophies. No, wait, nope, that's still, yeah, back there, vocal trophies. Here's theater collages of shows over the years. I think I'm somewhere. You are definitely somewhere in there. It's like a kick For out. Sure. Right. This was the show Legally Blonde was my favorite. This was fun. Ever. What's a time your intuition made a really good call? <sighs> time your intuition made a really good call. My intuition with students. I have great intuition when students need intervention. And I've I think that's probably. What's yeah. your biggest fear? My biggest fear? used to be dying, but it's not. It is leaving behind my family. If your life were a story, what would be the biggest plot twist? That I'm the hero. <laughs> if a genie granted you three wishes, what would you wish for? <clears throat> Can't be more wishes. A lot more money. Um. I would wish that the world would get a grip on reality and um, do better for one another. And I would wish that more people would stop saying they can't sing and take a risk and give it a try because it could be one of the best blessings in their life. I can't sing. What's your favorite spot in doing and do you want to shout out to us? My favorite spot in doing? What makes you smile the most? What makes me smile about my students? My students and my kids. What makes you the saddest? My students and my kids. <laughs> <laughs> what makes me sad is when people are not feeling good. When they're not good. That makes me sad. I'm so sorry. Sorry, coming through again. Coming through, coming through. <laughs> <laughs> Trip. This is our giant mural of butterfly work in progress, and once it's finished, that'll be my favorite spot. We need a monster truck here. I know. All right, let's go this back this way. Whoa. We can ask a question to the students. We're taking away questions to these students. How would you all describe Miss? Don't, most of them don't know. I know. Miss. We know. Okay, about from us. what you're from. Okay. Um, how would you describe Miss Locker in one word? Um. um Awesome. Um, easy going. Oh. No. <laughs> I would say. Um, no pressure. Supportive. Oh. I'll take it. Alright? I said awesome. Yeah. Oh. Uh, seriously? <laughs> okay. If, there's, <laughs> if there's one thing you hope everyone on earth gets the chance to experience, what would it be? Uh, stability, peace, and comfort. What's a lesson you had to learn the hard way? Um, to take responsibility for my shortcomings. What's the hardest lesson you've had to unlearn? All of my bad habits, mm -hmm. down from biting my nails to like, just all those silly bad habits. If you could gaze into the future, what would you want to find out? I would want to find out if one day when I'm not here, if my children are happy and thriving. What do you wish you received more recognition for? Nothing. I think I get plenty of recognition for my work. What's the most rewarding part about your job? My students. What's the best gift you've ever received? Um, when I had my first my first baby, my Shansons choir threw me the most beautiful and elaborate baby shower. It got me like half of my baby registry just for one class. And that was so touching. What do you miss but don't want back? Ooh. 
I miss, see, I miss being home during the pandemic because I'm such a homebody. Um, but I certainly do not want those times back. The world would be a better place if. Um, people chose kindness. Fill in the blank. I'm counting down the days until. I'm counting down the days until. Well, obviously summer. <laughs> Love summer. And for our last question. Ooh! On a scale of one to 10, how excited are you to have Eastside cover you? Like a hundred million. I think it's awesome. Feel like a total rock star. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Thank you guys. You're Thank awesome. You. Bye.